You guys, I'm so excited to do this one. I've had it, I have never done a swag this big or like this before. I've done a teardrop swag, but nothing as big as this. And I get my laptop on the table. Okay, so the base of it is going to be this so it spreads apart so this will be the base and i got this from uh waterman's loft i'm not sure i know he still has these but i'm not sure if he still has those or not this is also going to be on top of it this is in a platinum so we're going to be doing um kind of a burgundy gold and platinum with a little bit of black color going on it um so this will go on top these I also got from Waterman's Loft, and I got some berries. Hey, Kristen. And these came, they're platinum colored pine cones. Actually, these um, ones right here came with pine cones on them, but I took the pine cones off. So I'm going to use these in something else, probably for my window pane back here. So this came in a pick of like three. So they came up like this and then another one up here. So I just cut these off. Um, so we're going to be using those. And then I got some gold. I think I got these from... Uh, it could be Hobby Lobby last year or Michael's, but I got these last year. They're from Ashland. Okay, sounds good, Tammy. I hope she's doing okay. I got some of these. I got three of these. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use them because, I don't know, I love them, but they're almost too sparkly. Hey, Trina. No, I did not, Tammy. <laughs> I did not skip over your name, girl. And I got some poinsettias to put in there. I got all this stuff. I may not use it all, but now this is a gold color. Um, it comes, Hobby Lobby has it right now. It comes in a big pick about like this, so I just separated it. I got two of them. Show you what it looks like. Well, I separated that one too. It comes as a big pick. Now these, I love these. These are my favorite. These come in a pick, a very large pick of three. Okay, so you get two. You get two of these and one of the big one on on a pick. I think that's how it comes. I got these from Deco Exchange. Um, I don't. I didn't, haven't looked to see if he's out on them or not. And then I got these. Some of these berries. I got these Hobby Lobby, uh, and a gold and a burgundy. And then let me show you the ribbon I'm going to be using. I got this six-inch burgundy wired edge ribbon yesterday at this way. Hey, Joanne. Um, <laughs> you finally made it. This is a six inch wired ribbon. It's um, $9.99 that I got at Hobby Lobby. But if you use your 40% coupon, um, it would be probably what? I don't know, six bucks for six inches. So I'm going to make a big, huge bow to go in the middle. I'm going to kind of put some of this stuff back here. I'm going to use a lot of ribbon. Not sure what all I'm going to use, but. Oh. That's gonna happen. Sorry, hold on. Casualty. We got a ribbon casualty. Okay. So let's try this one more time. I have more than that. Okay. So this is a glitter um, mesh wire ribbon. I have some left over from last year.
that's funny, Tammy. You're funny. Okay, so I have these one and a half. And the one in the middle is the same ribbon as the one I was just holding in my hand. Um, I may not use all of them, but like I said, we'll see. I just picked the ones that I liked out of it. So we'll see how it goes. And then for the two and a half ribbon, I know we're going to be using all of these. Maybe I may not use this one. This one's just a plain gold one. Harlequin on it. So that's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. So, hey, Cece. <laughs> my pops are, uh, oh hey Trina how are you oh my um, lollipops yes those are so fun I'm going to be doing my lollipop soon okay so I'm just going to kind of put this back here haphazardly so I can have some room it's good to have numerous tables right Oh, okay, bear with me. Organized. So, again, I have, oh, and I forgot to tell you, I'm going to be using some ornaments. I almost forgot these. So I got these last year as well. I think I got these at Hobby Lobby after Christmas, so I got them. Yep, I got these at Hobby Lobby. So I got these 50% off. Hey, Miss Linda. And I got these red ones, they're kind of a burgundy with glitter on the edge of them. They're really, really pretty. I got these at Hobby Lobby 2 last year. They were regularly 15 bucks, and I got them for half off. So it pays to buy half off, right? Okay, so I am going to plug in my glue pot. I'm going to put these on the floor. I just don't have patience for that today. <clears throat> I'm just going to plug this in. Let's forget. The last thing I want to do is get all the way to the end where I need to start gluing stuff in. Basically a miniature skillet that I got from um, Amazon. Alright, so let me show you how I'm going to do this. Um, Scott Waterman, and actually, this is where I got the idea. He actually did this on his live a while back. Oh, I want to see your lollipops too, Joanne. Thank you, Miss Linda. <laughs> so, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to put this together first. Okay, now bear with me you guys, I haven't done this before, so, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my husband cut these off the back, so let me scroll in so you guys can see better. Okay, so we'll see how that goes. So, how I'm going to do this, these spread out like this. So, I'm going to kind of spread these out a little bit. Let me go know if that's a good angle or if you guys need to push it back out. Or okay, so I'm going to spread these out just like this. Okay. Now, how I want to do this is you want to put these, this one under this one, and this one under this one. I want to leave, I'm going to make a fairly big bow. Normally, I would just leave enough room in the middle for my fist. But since I'm going to make a bigger bow, um, because I've got that six inch ribbon, I'm going to make this. Okay. Hey, Miss Kathy. Just unbend these. And you can also do the same thing with this one. 
this one will pull out. Okay. And it's got kind of the same um, thing on here as well as it's already in here. So you want to kind of make sure it's, you know what, <gasps> let's um, take the tags off, shall we? <laughs> I'm sure nobody wants that on there. Hey, Terry. Yeah, I don't know. I live, like I said, you guys, I live out in the country, so my, um, internet service is not always the best so just bear with me if it's freezing just take it'll just take a second and it'll come back on isn't this pretty I love this love it so I'm just gonna put this one on top of here okay put it underneath this is gonna be heavy heavy duty okay underneath space it leave enough room Okay, there's that one. And once I get this on, I'm going to zip tie it all together. And then I can start adding other stuff to it. So this actually should, I say should, go fairly quickly. But we'll see how it goes. Like I said, this is the first time I've done one this big. So straighten these out. Put these out like this. What I'm doing. And this would help if you could see what I was doing, right? Okay. Out like this. You just want to make it look a little bit more natural. Put this one under here. Just because I'm going to be putting the bow in there, and I don't want the bow to be covering this up too much. Okay. So that's where I like it. So I'm going to use some fairly big. Uh, zip ties. These are approximately uh, about 14 inches long. Hey, Kara. Thanks for coming, girl. Hey, girl. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the when I snip the, t the top of this zip tie, that it's not underneath. I don't know if it's the right way. Um, that it's going to be on top because I don't want the, come on, Michelle, come on, there we go, um, I don't want the zip tie to s scratch the door, so I'm just going to take, no, I don't want those, those are too big, um, my needle nose pliers, and you guys, is that a good angle for you guys? And I'm just going to pull, hopefully I don't smash myself in the face, pull, pull, pull. You don't have to use one this, this long, but I do, I've got some other ones over there if you use two. It is harder than Katie's in there, you guys. Oh, so I want this to be sticking straight up. Okay, I'm going to make sure I got really tight. Slip it. And I've got other ones that you can use too. I got these ones. These are about 11 inches, so you don't have to use the real big ones if you don't want. You just need enough to where it will wrap around the base. And I'm gonna put about three zip ties on here. What is my problem today with these zip ties? <laughs> Thank you, Miss Kara. I appreciate it. Girl, your little um, top hat the other day came out so sticking cute. Okay, that one. Hot. Hot, hot. Are you guys hot where you guys are at? In the middle. And what I might do as well, I'm going to turn on my glue gun. Let that warm up because so I'm gonna kind of glue these on here as well. Hey Carla, okay, 
So, we got that. I'm going to put these over here. So the tools you're going to need are any pair, pair of scissors. Okay. Zip ties. You're going to need some wire cutters. And uh, some needle nose pliers. And let me show you what this looks like. Uh, come on. So here's what we got. I'm trying to hard to get it a weird angle. See, isn't that really pretty? It's big. It's it's huge, you guys. It's longer than my mat, and that's 35 inches. Okay, so I'm gonna put this over here, and then. I'm going to go back down here. I'm going to make a bow. I'm going to use a bow maker. Alright. Ta-da. So, I wanted to tell you before I forget, you guys, a couple things. Um... There is a giveaway going on in my craft group. Um, I was at 500 in my craft group, so I decided to run a giveaway. It's going to be a Christmas wreath kit. Um, if you go on. Post that you'll see the post. Hey, Anna. And, um. So that'll run until the 23rd, and I believe the winner will be notified on the 24th. Now they, um, I was going to see the ingredients. The supplies that are going to be in the wreath kit are a, supply, a surprise, except there's a picture of the plush that it's going to be in there. That'll kind of be the color scheme of the wreath kit. So check that out. Um, I did also want to let everybody know that... Um, as of August 30th, my design group is going to be open at 8 a.m. Now that is going to be a paid membership, so that's going to be $15 a month. Um, we're going to have giveaways, wreath kits, um, bi-weekly questions and answers, lives, um, weekly tutorials, weekly lives, um, all kinds of stuff. So, and I'm going to be doing more than just wreaths, so I'm going to be doing like <laughs> like these, I've got these shoes back here, things like that, um, the different embellishments, bow tutorials, all kinds of stuff. So, um, check that out. Alright, let me get my ribbon. So, I am going to start with this 6 inch ribbon. I've never used a 6 inch ribbon before, so... I'm not going to make my tails real long either, either guys, because I don't, because this can either be a centerpiece on somebody's table, or I'm going to tie a um, loop around this side right here so somebody can hang it on their door if they want. So it can have multi-purposes. Okay. So I'm not going to make the bow with a long tail at all in case they want to hang it on the door. Let's get this party started. Hey Susan! So glad you had a good vacation. I was jealous. Okay, this is sheer. I'm not quite sure. So, let's see how we're going to do this. Never done a six inch. We're going to give it a whirl. So, I'm going to make that about 8 inches. I'm just going to have to scrunch this down in here. Like that. I'm going to twist it. I am going to make one go up and one go down on the tails. Hey, Genevieve. Hey, Anna. Okay, so these loops, since they're, it's a pretty big, I'm going to make them about 7 inches. Okay. 
and pull that one up like that. You guys, this thing's gonna be humongous. Okay, twist it. Sorry if you can't see what I'm doing. This is ribbon so big. Oh, darn it. Hard to hold on to. And then we'll make that one. Okay, so there's that. It's gonna be interesting with a six inch ribbon. Okay, so then I want to do this gold, it's kind of a rose gold and gold. This and I'm gonna dovetail this. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> this is <a> big ribbon. <laughs> I know, right, Emma? Okay, so do that one. more of an angle. There we go. Okay. So, now I'm going to get my twist tie or zip tie. I like to put mine under the bows when I first start putting loops down because that way as it starts to get bigger, I don't have to worry about it later. And it's going to be huge. Huge. So I'm going to do this one next. So that one was at seven inches. I'm going to make this one at six and a half. And I think I got this one at Michael's last year. It's really, really pretty. Sparkly. It's kind of like a cream and a um, rose gold kind of color, but it matches the platinum really pretty. And this burgundy. That's what I'm choose. Scrunch it. Twist it. This one down here. This one's coming at seven or six and a half. Sorry, it's kind of a thinner ribbon, so it's kind of hard to deal with. I'm just going to make this one at six. I'm going to make it at six. So I want some of this um, burgundy ribbon to show through. So I'm going to make this at six instead of six and a half. And sometimes with this flimsy, um, this not really flimsy, but thin, thir thinner ribbon, um, it's going to be easier to mess with it if it's a smaller loop than it is bigger. I'm going to go ahead and dovetail these as I'm going. I normally don't, but um, I know that I guess I'm going the wrong way. Yep, I'm going the wrong way. I always do that. There we go. Now it's dovetailed. That's kind of a crappy dovetail, but that's okay. It kind of feels weird during Christmas in July, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like 95, 100 degrees outside, and I'm here, and here doing Christmas. Okay, so then I'm going to do the gold and the burgundy.
I love this ribbon. Where did I get this? I think I got it Michael's last year. I think. Five inches. That seems longer than that. Yeah, that's too long. I know it's like I can't figure out which way it's supposed to go because I'm always doing it this way and then when I turn it, <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. As long as I've been doing this, you would think I would figure it out. Okay, so this is going to be five and a half. This one up. Twist it. That goes up. You guys, I'm just alternating the loops. So these, this loop is going up here, and this tail is going up here. The next one I will do um, the, I'll show you. It's easier to show you than it is to explain it. But I'll explain it as I'm going along. Uh, can I do, can I do, okay, just checking, just checking. It. Some thick ribbon. <laughs> Tammy, you're funny. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter, woman. <laughs> you're hilarious. Funny, funny girl. You crack me up. Okay. So. What am I doing? One, two. Hold on. I'm messing myself up. Okay. Holy. It's this heat, you guys. <laughs> I'm blaming it on the heat. Okay, so this one will go up here. Wow. Crazy. This one. too many loops on me. I'm like, what am I doing? This thick ribbon looks to get in the way. Okay. It's confusing in myself and I was starting to make another loop over here. That would be pretty too, wouldn't it, Tammy? Okay. Now that ribbon's done. Isn't that pretty ribbon? Love it. And I try to save it. something to kind of, I don't want two patterns on top of each other. And this will kind of separate that a little bit. My OCD is kicking in. Yeah, Susan, I just got mine at um, Joann's in this little container. And then you can buy um, supplemental ones if you run out. It was really cheap, too. I tried doing the rubber band thing, but I kept putting a crease in my loops. This one over here. This one's one, two, five. This one, five. This one down here. Bow's getting big, guys. So this one's going down to five. 
because the other one was at five and a half. You just want to pull, put your thumb inside the loop, pull it, and pull with your fingers here to make sure it's taut. Okay. I need to get my little tool here. So you guys out of, out of all the storms and stuff like that, I know some of you guys will have some big thunder and lightning storms, hail, tornadoes, hurricanes. You guys all out of that now? Oh, and if you guys could do me a favor, if you just joined, um, if you can spread the love for me and bless my page, I appreciate it. Thank you for all of your support. Okay, so I'm going to use, I love this ribbon. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I think I got this at Michael's last year too. They had tons of ribbon last year. I just went hog wild on it. I could have been at the home store too. I don't know. At the home, at home? At the at home store. Whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> this one we're going to go up. So this one's gonna be at four and a half. I love this ribbon. Put your thumb in there, pull it, and we're gonna push this one up and this one up. Twist it in the middle. You could twist it before you put it in here as well. It's up to you. Twist it. So I was at Hobby Lobby yesterday, and um, hey Christine, because I have all the fallout now, and they've got a lot of the Christmas out, not all of it, but a lot of it. So I asked her, I'm like, so when do you guys plan on putting Halloween out? I mean, that's kind of in the middle of both those holidays. She was oh, we're probably going to have all of the Halloween out in the next four to five weeks. Okay, I mean, wouldn't you think you would put Halloween out before Christmas? I know that we're all supposed to be, you know, months ahead, but come on. <laughs> Get it together. Okay, so that's it for the two and a half. Okay, so now we're going to go to the one and a half. And let me see here. I'm not going to use... I'm only going to use this for the loop at the end. I'm going to use this one, this one, and this one. Okay. Alright. So, I'm going to start with this one. I think I got this one at, I don't know where I got this. Well, most of these except for this one I got this one at craft outlet but most of these ribbons that I got these Christmas ribbons, ribbons um, ribbons I got from different places last year after Christmas so it's gonna be eight inches I love this ribbon love it that one's gonna go down like that so that one was it. Oh, I hate it when they do that. Who they did, you guys? They stitched it in the middle. Really? Okay. So I'm going to cut that off. And I'm going to cut that middle off. I'm going to save this ribbon, though, because I could probably do something with it somewhere else. Let's try that again. Oh, that irks me to no end when they do that. Miss Tanner with you. <laughs> that is so funny, Susan. 
Oh, you and your little gator friend. Okay, so that was a four and a half, right? So this is going to be a four. Four. Okay. This is going to be a huge bow, you guys. Huge bow. Four. I know, me too, Tammy. It frustrates the crap out of me. I'm like, really? If you have that much left on a roll, don't put it on there like that. Come on now. Do they really expect us to use ribbon that's got stitching in the middle of it? The two pieces have been stitched together. Some people's children, that's all I gotta say, baby. Okay, so then, I'm gonna put the Harlequin. No, I'm going to put red on there. I think I'm going to put the kind of thing last. Okay, so this will be at three and a half. So when you're doing your loops, you just want to go down a half an inch every time. A little thumb. Isn't that pretty? It's gold on the other side. I think I actually got, I got this one from Paper Mart last year. Paper Mart has some really pretty ribbon. Three. Guys, I can't wait to see what this bowl looks like when it's done. Oh, I'm so excited. Especially with the six inch ribbon on there, I've never use six inch ribbon but you know what I'm not afraid to try new stuff you can't be afraid to try new stuff um, you're never gonna learn new techniques or learn anything new if you're too scared to try stuff okay right? I'm not scared what's the worst that can happen you know you take it apart and you start over that's why I don't when I make something new I do it first, um, just so I can I can figure out what I'm doing before I actually do a live on it. Like with those lollipops, I'll do a live on those, but I wanted to make those first, because um, my fear, I don't, you know, if it's it's gonna take me a while to figure out how to make my first one. Once I figure it out, it won't take me as long, and I really don't want to keep you guys on a live for hours on end while I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. I mean, I know that's why we're all on here to learn, but if I can learn first and then, and then do it, and I'm going to do this gold, and I got this one, I don't know, I got it last year, last year, okay, so this one's going to be at two and a half, scrunch it in the middle, twist it, Thank you, CC. Appreciate it. This one's going to go down here. So this one was going to be at, what did I say? Three. No, I said two and a half. Hey Lori, thanks for coming on. Okay, so this one, when it gets big like this, it's hard to measure. You just kind of, I have to eyeball it. Okay, so that one's two and a half. Hey Casey girl. I'm making a huge, huge Christmas. It's either, people can use it for either a centerpiece or um, a swag. When I get done with this, I'll show you what it looks like. It's huge. It's 
you guys, it's longer than my pad, my measuring thing over here, and that's 35 inches. One thing you can do with, with this as well is you can make a double door hanger. So you can take each piece and then put a ribbon on the top of it. And then you can have one for somebody that's got double doors. Um, you can have one where they can put it on the back door and the front door. Um, or they can use this for... Let me show you what I'm making. I'm going to move back here so you can see it. See how big this is? Huge! And I'm going to put this bow in the middle. It's huge. Huge. Okay, so two more ribbons left. We put this Harlequin. You guys, Harlequin has become my new favorite this year. Hey, Sue. I appreciate it. Sue's on your right. I just saw Merrick Memories. Um, hey, Sue, do me a favor. Check your email, hon. I sent you an email for your um, your giveaway, and I need to know what colors that you want. And um, that kind of thing. Because I need to pick some embellishments for your... Okay. So this one's going to be at two. Okay, so we'll use it two. Here. Not. down anymore so I'm just gonna have to eyeball it. Thank you Joanne. It's going to be a huge bow. <laughs> That's for sure. I have never made one this big. But you know we're going big and going home today, right? We're doing a big centerpiece or or um, swag, and we're going to do a big bow. We're doing big Christmas in July. Yes, we are. Alright, so this will be the last one, and this one's just for the middle loop, so you don't have to measure this if you don't want. Okay. Evidently, I used that for something else. So, I'm going to make the tail probably about um, no, 10, 8 inches. Okay, loop it. I make the loop probably about 2 inches. And you don't have to measure it if you don't want to. Okay, and then I'm going to twist that. Put in the middle. Okay, let me fix this real quick. Hold on, it's going to drive me nuts. Okay. Hold on, I have to be my, I have to make sure my table is organized before I can move on with stuff. It, does, it drives me nuts when things are out of order. Okay, hold on just a second, you guys. Okay. Is my... Oh. I forgot to turn my glue pot on. I turned it on, but it, the button was off on the little strip thing, you know? Okay, so with this, what you want to do is you want to pull this up through the bottom. Kind of hold on to it in the middle with your fingers like this. Put this in here. Hey, Rachel. Hey, girl. Okay, and got my handy dandy needle nose pliers. Hey, Sue, there you are. 
Thank you, Sue, for blessing my page. I appreciate it. Hey, girl, check your email. I sent you another email for your giveaway. If it's easier, um, Sue, you can always get a hold of me by messenger, too, because I'm usually on that more than I am my email. Okay, so I'm going to kind of squish this down. Turn it to the back. Now, before, look at this big old ribbon. Isn't it big? Huge. Now, before I um, squeeze it too tight, no worries, Rachel. I'm glad you came. Thank you. I appreciate it. And drive safe. Uh, oh. Oh, that's fine. So, I'm just going to take some wire. This is just 22 gauge wire. And you know what? <laughs> you know it's gonna be better if I take a twist tie, or not a twist tie, but a um, zip tie. I'm gonna take a zip tie and do this because because the um, branch is so thick. Okay, so how do I want to do this? So I want to do it this way. Okay, so I think I'm doing this right. Oh my god, it's hot in here, you guys. It's so hot. You guys, I am ready for fall already. I'm tired of this heat. Come on. Doesn't want to get in there. Okay, I got this in there. Let me make sure that I have this in here right. This way, and I do not. So I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna twist it. There we go. Okay, now I got it. So how you want to do this is I'm gonna hold on to my twist tie back here for a handle. Hey Teresa, hey girl, and I'm just gonna start moving these around. But this loop that's in the middle, I'm gonna pull these tails down. Okay. I'm going to pull all these tails that are down, or pointed down, I'm going to point them down. Okay. And then for the top, I'm going to do the same thing. All my tails that were pointing top, I'm going to pull them. They were all pointing the same way. <clears throat> now I'm probably not going to finish fluffing this until I get it tied on there. But this will give it a good start. Okay. I'm going to put this on here. Let's put this around. And you want to just kind of start going, oh, I forgot to dovetail some of these. I started dovetailing them and then I got distracted. Yeah, I think it's 100 degrees here today, Christine. I'm about over it. When it starts to be getting like the middle of June and it starts getting into the 90s and it's just ridiculous. Just okay, so I think I got everything. Okay. So then I'm going to just start fluffing this up. And move your tails around or your loops around. And you want to kind of put them on. 
and pull it open like that. Some of the bigger ones, like I already have really small hands, so some of these two inch ones, you could put your whole hand in there and just spread them apart like that. Okay. Get them where I want them, then I can start. You guys, this looks so pretty. One minute. Then I can start tightening it up the back. I can sit here and play with this ribbon all day long. I am such a ribbon fanatic. Ribbon. Fanatic. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. And I'm going to pull it really, really tight. Okay. Once you get your ribbon where you want it to be, then you can pull it really, really tight. If you pull it really tight and then try to move your ribbon, it's going to be really, really difficult. So just make sure you have your... Oh, guy, isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love it. And I love the little pop of black in there. Some of these you can take and take your fingers and just pull on it. It'll curl it. too much but like I said I'm gonna put this on there. Okay, so I'm gonna move this. Whew. Thank you Tammy. Thank you Rachel. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Okay, so here we go. So I want Make sure I cut. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to do this because I need it to go the other way. Hold on, I need to look at it and make sure. All about ingenuity, right guys? Okay. The reason why I did that is because I've got these two down here with the loop and I want them pointing downwards. So I needed to put another one on here that's facing the opposite direction. smash this but that's okay. And make sure that's pulled really really tight. Okay. Now what you can do also when you get done with these as I'm probably gonna do this too is take like some green um flowers floral tape I don't really like the floral tape but I'm going to take like some green velvet and wrap it around here 
So these edges right here will be a little dulled from it. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now we're cooking it again. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Fluffing up the now this six inch ribbon it's going to be lay a little flat because it is sheer but it kind of gives it another kind of depth to it there we go. pretty 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 see what do you guys think you need to move these around if you want I'm going to put some stuff on here. Tell me what it's not so Thank you, Sue. I appreciate it. Okay. moving it down just a little bit more because I want it more in the middle and not go too far over on this end. Okay, and when I get done with this, I'll finish fluffing it all. But we should guys have an idea of what's kind of looking like. Okay, so there we go with the bow. Now, I'm going to try putting some of these in here. Oh, actually, I'm going to put some of these pine cones in here first. Okay. I'm going to put some of these pine cones in here. I got these came on a um, pick of three each. So I'm going to put three on one side and three on the other. Um, there's two. Oh, okay. So, no, this is just like any floral arrangement. Whenever you start placing stuff, you want to make sure, or gluing stuff, you want to start placing it first. I'm going to put that one right there. And I'm going to have to kind of stand up to do this, guys. Can you guys see this? Okay, let me just move out a little bit more. Let me know if that's better. That's kind of better. You can't see really see this end, can you? Let me do something. Hold on. Move this out just a little bit. That's better. You can kind of see more of it now. You're missing this end. Okay, so I'm going to see about putting one right here. And right here. You want to make sure you don't get glue like on your table, but. Okay, there's that.
stuff is kind of thin, so it's yeah, it looks pretty right there. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of glue these in. And again, you guys, I got these, all three of these pieces that I'm already working with right now, I got from Waterman's Loft. So if you're wanting to get the pine cones, the pomegranate swag, and the evergreen swag, I got from Waterman's Loft. I know he still had some of these pomegranate ones, but I don't know about, I think he still had some of these, um, but I don't know if he still had any more of these. Sometimes I forget where I put it. <laughs> there we go. Right there. So you want to kind of make them to look even. It's right out pretty. I'm going to make, let me check my comments. I know, Diana. I love Christmas in July too. Love it. You know what? I used to hate Christmas in July in the summertime because when I wasn't doing wreaths, I'm like, why? Why do we have to have Christmas in the summertime? <laughs> but now that I'm doing crafts and stuff like that, um, wreaths and centerpieces and liner swags and that kind of thing, um, it makes sense. So. Okay, so now I got these pieces. I'm just kind of randomly stick them around. I need a bird's eye view for this, so. Right there. This one up here. There's some depth to that one. You just gotta get a feel with florals, it's hard because you just gotta kind of figure out where there's a spot missing, like an empty spot, and just kind of put it in that way. You know what, hold on, let me do this. This one here, two of them right here, I think. Then, these. I can always get more of these. They got these. These got are from Hobby Lobby, so you can get these right now. I didn't get these last year. Oh, 
Okay, so now I'm going to glue these in real quick. I just gotta remember where I put them. This one a little bit because it's too long. This thing is huge, you guys. Huge. I'm gonna do all by myself. Do you guys all see my top, my the top hat that I made yesterday or the other day? It turned out so stinking cute. I already have an idea for it to put in my, to put in a another swag wreath. That's in. Oh, let me show you real quick. It turned out. I'm sorry, I got glue all over me. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'll get it. So, this is the hat that I made yesterday. I can't see the whole thing. Doesn't it turn out really cute? It's got a purple spider here. It's got an orange one right here. It's got some flowers on it. I don't particularly care for the red on there, but I think I next one I'll make up put some orange ones, maybe some green ones. Got three, one, two, three, three different colors of ribbon, four, three, two, four different colors of ribbon. And that turned out really cute. I like it a lot. Push it back down. Since those are in, and I'm gonna when I get done with this, I'm gonna go back through. Oops, I got glue right here, and um, check to make sure everything's in really good. Fluff my bow, all that good stuff, and I'm gonna take a picture of this in the morning too, so you guys can see in the daylight. Two on one side. Oops, spider webs are everywhere, and one on the other. Now these you guys I got from um, Deco Exchange. I think I'm gonna put. I have more stuff on this side than I do on this. So I'm gonna put two on this side. One of the big ones and one of the little ones. And then. Oh, oh, and there I go. Thank you, Denisha. I appreciate it. I know Rachel didn't it turn out super cute. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Denisha. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of uh, cut this a little bit because I don't want it that long. Let me see where I want to put this. I think I want to put this right there. I'm gonna strip this out just a tad. I can put some berries on the other side. I'm going to be careful with these because I've already had to glue this 
put back in once on one of these, so let's see. Um, and again, like I said, they, I got these from Deco Exchange. I don't know if he's out of them or not. Um, I can give you the SKU number. Um, the SKU number is 83643. B is Umbrella, K is in Kite, W is in Whiskey, T is in Tango, if you're wanting to look at those up. Get some more glue after this is done. That's where it's going now. There we go. Okay. Those are in. So then, let's see. I think I want to put in some. I think I'll put in some point setters. I don't know about that. These, you can just put these. The leaves and push them up like that. I do want the greenery in there because it gives it an other added different color of green. Alright, so let's see. I'm going to cut these too short, but. Hey Mildred, how are you? Cut those too short. I mean, really. Take the tag off this, right? I think I got these ones. Um, I actually got these points. Oh, I hate that when that happens. Um, I'll just go back on from Craft Outlet, I think. And I'll just back on. There we 
Bazaar. Hey, hold on. Facebook decided to kick me out of my own life again. Bear with me, guys. Hold on. I gotta find myself again. Hey, Harless, how are you? Thank you, Rachel. I appreciate that. Thank you, Christine. There we go. Okay. Um, there we go. Okay. Okay. Let's put this one right here. Cover up that. Let's see. I did that one over here. Oh. I just want to stagger these where they're kind of off center a little bit. placement, right? There we go. I think that looks good right there. Mm. Mm, I can't stop playing with it. Right there. Good. Okay. Got it. There's that one. Is looking pretty. What do you guys think so far? Okay, there's that. Blue boots everywhere. It's not done yet, but I want to put some. <laughs> like, Tammy, you're so funny. Ooh. Okay, so now, you know what? I don't. Mm, I might wait on these. I don't know. I only got three of them. Maybe I can just add two of them. Maybe I should add those. I'm just trying to. Oh, yeah, I know, Rachel. It's horrible. It is 
horrible. Oh my god, that was... Hey Ricky, hey Angie. Oh, thank you, Angie, for coming. First time watcher from Indiana. You're awesome. This thing is huge. I think I will put them in there just to give it some added glitz. Oh, I hope if I took the thing off of it. You can see it. I have it. Okay. I think I will put these in. Thank you, Ricky. <laughs> it's not long enough. <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, oh my god, how am I going to ship this thing? The thing I do, free shipping, right? I just gotta remember where I put everything. Oh, I see. There we go. Okay. 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 Almost done, guys. Almost. I got some of these berries. And I was gonna put, I think, some of these in there. But I think I got enough gold in here already. I'm gonna just save these for my <clears throat> window pane that I got back here. Oh, let's see. I got these. I think I got these from Hobby Lobby. I don't remember. Hey, Benita. How are you, girl? Okay, so these can kind of. I'm just going to start taking these off and placing them. So I'm going to have to go through and clean up all these glue webs. Okay, Joy, thank you for coming.
I think placement for me with florals is the hardest part. Um, I just never... I mean, florals for one just scare the crap out of me anyway. But I'm not going to not do them because they scare me. I'm never going to learn how to do it if I just don't do it, right? So I'm doing it. I'm doing it. As Julie Sabaka would say, I'm doing it scared. Oh, that's really pretty right there. I'm going to put some of these leaves in here, too, just to give it some extra something, something. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Once, I've noticed though that once with florals that once you start placing stuff that it does get easier to just kind of put stuff in there randomly. Well, not randomly, but when you do see an empty spot, you know, the more stuff I'm getting in there, the more I'm like, okay, that needs a spot, that needs a spot, and I just put it in there. But I might actually put some of there. Oh, these glue webs are trying to be nice. Okay, so this one. Thank you, Harless. Thank you, CC. Thank you, guys. Okay, so I'm going to put this one right down here. Okay, put some more back here. I'm almost done. Almost done. Just gonna add a few more of these berries and some leaves, and we'll be done. A big old bow in the middle. So I'm going to come around right up here. I might just use all these just to use them all. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> I've had this waiting to do this for like a month because I've been just so freaked out about doing it because it's so big and I'm like ugh down there
sorry you guys, I'm trying not to, I'm not, I'm not trying to ignore you, it's just, with florals, <clears throat> it's like, my brain is like one track mind, I'm just concentrating on what I'm doing, so, bear with me. Leaf. Oh. Okay. I think we are done. Let me fluff this bow up a little bit. These can kind of turn under. this out. So you guys can see it. So, I'm going to turn it around because Wow, that's big. It's big. What do you guys think? And that didn't take actually too long for as big as it is. You just kind of glue stuff and stick it in there. Um, I mean, the biggest thing, the most, it was the bow that took the longest. But I think it turned out really pretty. What do you guys think? Oh, hey, Sharon. Thank you, hon. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Harless. Um, I am going to be doing some more swags. For those of you, I'm going to show you something. Turn off my glue down here a little bit. And my glue pot before I forget. So, um, I am going to be doing some more swags. So, my husband made me this. And for all of you that does raise, you know what this is. Um, I am going to be making some more slabs. The wreath shop has these and they are a 24 inch um, evergreen swag. It comes with the loop already on it. So I can make them like that. Um, I'm going to make some Halloween ones, some Christmas ones. And so I got four of these, so I'm going to make some fall, Halloween, and Christmas. Um, also, by, if you guys are wanting to know where to get one of these, I do sell these in my shop as well um, for 60 bucks. But this one turned out really pretty. It's huge. Huge. Thank you, Rachel. 
Oh, thank you, Teresa, Linda. Thank you, Deb. <laughs> thank you, Kim, Sharon. So, I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean off the glue webs, uh, fix my bow if it needs to be fixed, and then tomorrow morning I will, I guess I should have made that longer, huh? That six inch ribbon because you really can't see it. That's okay. Um, fix my bow if it needs it. I'm going to take a picture of it in the morning so you guys can see it in the daylight. Um, I'm probably going to take a picture of it on my coffee table as well so you can see what it looks like as a centerpiece because this can either be done as a centerpiece or it could be done, you can hang it. Um, what I would suggest doing is because the bow is going down this way, it's facing down this way, is you can hang it like um, on the overhang above your door so it's hanging this way. Because if you hang it down, this bow is going to look awkward now that I'm thinking about it. But you could hang it above your door. You could hang it above your mantle. That would look really pretty. Um, so there's multiple ways that you can do it. I may put a, a loop behind here, behind this bow, so somebody can hang it on the wall. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. It ends on the 23rd, so the winner will um, get notified on the morning of the 24th, I believe. Um, the supplies in the wreath kit are kind of a secret, except for there's a picture of what's going to be in it, like the plush that's in it. Um, and so, and so Sue, if Merrick, if you're still on here, hun, can you do me a favor? Can you check your email for me so you can, because um, I know we're still needing to do your wreath giveaway or your uh, project giveaway too so I need to know what colors you're, you're needing so Sue if you're watching <laughs> if you could check your email for me I appreciate it um, and let me know what colors you want so I can start getting your embellishments for your project um, also um, I am going to be opening up my design group on the 30th of August at 8 a.m. it is a paid membership it'll be $15 a month um, but we're going to be doing lives and tutorials and hot seats. Now, if you guys don't know what a hot seat is, a hot seat for a design group is basically um, if, you're, if you've made a design or you're making a design, we can come on live and do a one-on-one -on -one in the group. Um, and you can get advice on um, you know what to add, what not to add, placement, that kind of thing. Um, so Sue, do me a favor, instead of email, can you just, um, instant message me? This probably going to be better, hon. Maybe it's going to your spam. I don't know. But if you just instant message me, Sue, um, that'll probably be easier for both of us, I would think. But, um, keep a lookout for that. Um, sorry, I'm just playing with all these blue webs. It's all over the place. So... Thank you guys. I appreciate you coming. I love you all. Um, stay tuned and I'll be doing some more lives here shortly. Some more Christmas and fall and Halloween. So, hey Krista. Um, love you guys. I love your support. You guys are always amazing. I love you.